Trying. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Die Trying. Today I'm going to be making a rolling tray for some storage underneath a bench in our living room. First thing I'm doing here is just cutting down a sheet of plywood for my tray bottom. After that, it was time to start cutting the side walls for my tray. When I'm cutting the side walls for my trays, I like to reference the base rather than use a tape measure. This just makes for a more accurate cut. When I cut my 45s, I make sure to not cut directly on the line and just slowly work up to it. This will make sure that you don't take too much off and have a weird gap between your corners. By cutting your 45 degree angles before you rip your boards to their final height, you're guaranteed that the two long sides are exactly the same length as one another and your two short sides are exactly the same length as one another. This will save you some time in the long run as long as your base is perfectly square. I have just buckets of junk like this laying around because I grab things off the side of the road all the time. And if it has good wheels on it, I take the wheels off or anything like that. So it pays to be a hoarder if you're actually using the stuff. Right here I'm just filling in with some joint compound because I'm going to be painting the whole project anyway. After a quick sand, I painted the whole thing white to match our baseboards of the house, and that was pretty much it. This is a really simple project and a really good storage solution for anything heavy that you want to keep underneath your bed. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye, see you again, and have a good dream.